NHRL is the best place to watch combat robotics on the internet. Delivering the raw chaos of robot destruction, unfiltered and unedited, uncensored robot-on-robot action. Sometimes three robots at the same time. This December 5th, 6th, and 7th, Alan, Kevin, and I will be competing on NHRL's YouTube channel from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time. Six fights if our robot survives. Watch us drown in the loosest rule sets around against robots that would be illegal in other leagues. And the crazy part is most of these machines are built cheaper than gassing up Papa's four-wheel drive F-350 dually with a 2,100 pound towing capacity. The only thing stopping you from building your own robot to compete at NHRL is your crippling chapstick addiction and the weak genes your stepdad gave you. If you want to fight, register and then build something and then lose because only one person is going to win this fight and it's probably not going to be you. Thank you, NHRL, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. And remember, to watch Kevin Allen and I fight this December 5th, 6th, and 7th on NHRL's YouTube channel, link below. Hello, oh, ever, I everyone. I've got this very special uh, <laughs> announcement that this episode of the Safety Third Podcast is going to be exactly the same as every <laughs> other episode of the Safety Third Podcast. It, it, there's it, there's no special guests nope, hiding in the garbage. No special guests. Yeah, that was like maybe rats. Everyone's always like, "Who's the guest?" And I was like, "I don't know if you can find somebody in the next twelve hours." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did it? Did we ever post a thing about asking for a producer? Did that ever go up? I don't know. I don't know if that's because I don't remember getting. I don't. Any I, don't I think no, I would have heard something. I would have gotten. I would have gotten a resume. Was it a Q and A on the Discord? <sighs> oh, it oh, was. It might have been. Oh, yeah, it, was. it didn't go up yet. But now it's not. Oh, yeah. We need a producer. Yeah. If you think you're qualified to be a producer, dude, what's a producer? I think I'm. Uh, actually, yeah. if you have to ask that question, yeah. don't apply. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, that's a really good point. I asked a couple of people, some like legit producers. Um, so far, it, it's been a lot of no's, but not it's any, us, and not any yeses. <laughs> okay. Actually, what whatever is a, that's worth. What is a producer? Uh, a producer, yeah, I've always been kind of confused on this, yeah. and I'm probably still going to get it wrong, even though I think that technically we probably have a pretty good answer. Yeah. It's someone who just gets the job done, like somebody who kind of makes sure that all the dots are connecting. So, like, you know, if you, you know, logistically, you have people doing smaller jobs, like finding talent or you know, wardrobe. The That's producer us. Is like We're kind talent. Of, yeah. I hate that. I, know, I think I, I, I there's one thing I hate more than influencer. It's talent. I think, <laughs> I feel like there, it's like a, a subtle dig. Yeah. I haven't been in many situations where I am the talent, but it all, it feels like sort of like they're being facetious about it. I know. Like, Come here, talent. <laughs> oh, here's the talent. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Roll out the red carpet. Oh, talent. do you want, do you want some, some food? We have a food bar here for <laughs> you're you. Like, uh, okay. Or craft services, like, they call it. That's also being facetious. Craft services, right? Like, Crafty. Yeah. Craft, craft services. The crafty table. Yeah. I think it's just kind of the person that makes sure all of those things are happening. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like partly manager babysitting, kinda? a yeah. little bit of managing, a little bit of like uh, assisting logistics, like a little bit of maybe filming, a little bit of like yeah, not editing, us, yeah. but like knowing to at least like how to give footage yeah. to an editor. I feel like if you worked at a daycare, you could do a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. if you if you yeah, worked, yeah. if you were like- uh, If you heard cats. If you right. were at a daycare <laughs> for animals- and you also like uploaded clips of the animals doing funny things onto TikTok, you'd be perfect. Yeah. I feel like every other person I've talked to that has hired producers, they do it through like, you know, an actual job, you know, listing. Oh, yeah. And I think that Word might of be mouth. the first thing wrong with us is the fact that we're talking <laughs> about it on the podcast. It's tough. It's hard. I I mean, I've 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 been looking. Yeah. Audrey Ember moved away. So Sad. like now I don't Sad. have that anymore. Yeah. So it's like where do you find people that can do things? It's hard. It's, it is. It's tougher than you think it is. Because sometimes they're they're bad at it. Like you, yeah. Like, you know, it's it's you never know. I mean, hiring people in general is really hard. Yeah, and like, and for producers, if they're if they're uh, too good at it, then they say no to us when we right, ask them right. to do it for us. Like I, I kind of realized, <laughs> like when you like if someone sells a company, like a tech company, like half, like almost every time that happens. Yeah, there's obligations for like some of the team, if not all the team to like carry on yes. with it. Yeah. And that the reason is because it's hard to put a team together. Yeah. Oh, does yeah. A good job. Yeah. You it's, couldn't just like buy right. a company and like it's start a like, logo yeah. and a name. It's like a buying product. a restaurant yeah. and right. then like firing everybody and hiring yeah. your own and staff. the chef leaves. And now yeah. it's like, well, what was the menu? What was this? this, this, <laughs> uh -huh. this that? And it's like, oh, OK, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So it's yeah no I, it's i uh even my like at, at open sauce my old boss who i used to you know the one of the companies I used to work at he came i invited him 
and he was like scouting people out there too right it's like yeah. it's not like really yeah because like, it is it's like if you can find a place yeah. where there's people that are you know like into makers and stuff, building yeah, yeah. And I know, Smart. like, like it kind of happens a lot in combat robotics. Like, combat robotics is a really good place to find people that are mechanically inclined. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. poach them. Yeah, and I know, like, Jake uh, Laser has yeah. hired some people that do combat robotics. That was my advice to him, was, like, yeah. look into that scene. Well, because it's, like, it's very similar to what you would end up doing for a lot of YouTube videos. Because yeah. it's, like, it's got to, mm-hmm. like, it's got to be it's got to work and it's got to like have like probably higher energy right. density than most people who just like make things or build things are going to have to encounter. Yeah. It's not classical like engineering too. I think classical engineering is sitting in a, in a cubicle. Definitely. With a Crunching numbers. Yeah. Or like, you know, you'll have yeah. like the guy who's good at like ANSYS, you know, who's doing like the numerical analysis um, for whatever, like somebody hands them a model mm-hmm. with like a scenario and then they build the simulation and they run it. And it's like, yeah. that's sort of like real engineer, finding someone that can actually do like the building and making and synthesizing yeah, like the, the tech job and also right. the engineer job. Cause then they have yeah. like a full understanding. If you know, if you know what a, a YouTube producer job entails and you don't have to ask a lot of questions yeah. about what the job is, you're probably right for the job. Do they yeah. have to live in LA? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have to be in person. In person. Um, you know, you ideally you've got some experience on YouTube or, or even making videos. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, if you're 18, straight out of high school, never made a YouTube video in, in your life, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't apply. <laughs> you know. I think, yeah. That's what happens. Yeah. Well, my first videos were really bad. Yeah. And now they're less bad. Yeah, because you spent time doing it. That's true. You that's were not true. worth any money back I then. was not. And I now know. somebody would pay you. Is that's that's I don't but know. Maybe if you have to like get somebody before. and then mold them into the ideal right. producer. But like would you hire yourself? And then they leave for somebody else. Like yourself at 24 or whatever, would you have hired yourself now? I don't think I would have hired myself for anything. Not even yeah. a fast food job. I don't know if we talked about this before, but I was thinking about that the other day cuz I was like thinking about like oh like, you know, producer for Safety Third and like also I'm looking for a producer for myself. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the editors, builders, whoever. And I was like, man, I just wish I had like another one of me. And I was like, hold on a sec. I was like trying to remember. To have sex yeah, with? Well, yeah. But also <laughs> when I was like, you know, finding someone who's like mid 20s, yeah. I was like, what I was like back then, like the skills that I had back then, I right now would not hire myself back then for sex or for building mm. or for <laughs> editing or for may maybe production but even then that's like a big maybe i feel like i would i would definitely i think hire myself if when your younger self yeah like when i first started doing the video really yeah i think Hmm. i think i had enough i mean i i still don't know if i i mean i don't know you had enough of a plan yeah, well, I don't know. It's like I don't know if I, I was like a you good started, employee. You, you started pretty strong. Yeah, I think you pretty much knew because we had made videos a bunch before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so we had like a general idea of you know how to put stuff together. Like we did, you know, a lot. Yeah, of, how to make a, a video. Yeah, like some people have seen, you know, the old, yeah, and old you built, channels. you yeah. you know, those the, you were an engineer, right? And you so are like building stuff, the, yeah, and then making like skits and special effect videos, and I then it was didn't, like uh, I don't know if we're allowed to talk about. It. Didn't King of Random try and like hire you yeah. when you were starting out? to be yeah, like yeah. a little his little basement goblin I, so, really yeah, somebody i don't know if he called i think he may have cold emailed me i didn't even know that yeah he didn't no oh you you were the one who said that grant had watched some of your videos and my videos and said he was like looking for you know like well he some said that's dynamics. yeah that's yeah. yeah i know he wanted to hire you though he and just then, said he yeah. wanted to like emulate our style of video <laughs> right because right. Wow, they seemed like less work been nate i you know been nate could have been me <laughs> That would have been bad. <laughs> I, w- I I don't know. No, I, yeah, I, mm, no. <laughs> I guess you, mm, you know what. I guess I would have hired you too. Do you know? Do you know anyone? Uh, do you know yourself from ten years ago? <laughs> anyone like that for hire right now? Yeah. Is anyone was anyone like me ten years ago? But, but now, you right now, yeah. Any one of you out there feel like you're a young William Austin? That, that would also take the same amount of pay that he did 10 years ago. 
I didn't make oh yeah, money. Uh, I made literally no money. Is, <laughs> is anyone here uh, living in a time before inflation? Right. Perhaps. Are there any time travelers that we could pay <laughs> in early 1900s money? We're, we're going to be waiting here for you, and then yeah. they'll just appear. Yeah. If if anyone up here is back here right now, we'll know that we our search has come to yeah. an end. <laughs> you, someone teleport behind nope. us. Travel behind <laughs> us with the that podcast gun. Dang it! <laughs> Kill us all. Anybody? No, nobody. I guess not. Yeah, for the uh, audio only listeners, nobody is appearing behind us, just so that you can't see that yeah. nobody, nobody in fact is actually appearing. I think the one reason I wouldn't hire myself <laughs> is I definitely have a hard time, uh, like focusing on like a thing. Like if I get mm. if I get bored of it, it's easy to kind of like, or if I if like you know it's that sort of procrastination thing where you like do something and you make progress. Um, it's great, and then the instant you kind of get a little bit too stuck, uh-huh. and you're too tired of on it. On to the next, you yeah. go on to the next thing. You're really uh-huh. bad at it. I'm uh-huh. bad at it. I feel like you're not as bad at uh, it. No, I, I, I can be pretty bad. I remember um, this was like one of my first experiences having like a full time job. It wasn't like a real job, and like even before then, like I had worked for a defense company, so like I had already like had a real job, but for some reason I still just was dumb. And so I was um, like doing some like design work for a makerspace mm. and like I was supposed to be I was one of those like contractors that was like supposed to be there eight hours a day. Mm. You know, one of those. Mm. And so like like uh, basically I was just like I was not feeling it. And so I went up to my boss and I was it was like it was probably like 2 p.m. like right after lunch. And I was just like, hey. I just I don't really feel like doing this. <laughs> I feel like Alan is the most <laughs> yeah. blunt. You're the most blunt person I know. And like anytime yep. there's like if you're in a situation where you're just like all bets are off, you're willing to burn the bridge. I feel like you have the funniest <laughs> stories. You're just like, I'll be honest, this job fucking yeah. sucks. <laughs> well, it was just that day, and I was like, I was supposed to be writing up. Um, it was like I think a, a curriculum for for some like. It, w- it was like replacement? an activity. <laughs> no, it was like supposed to be writing up an activity as like curriculum that like schools could use. Like training an AI on how to do my I job. I know, like that, that's totally something you could just give to ChatGPT nowadays. But like back then, I was I was just like, hey, like, can I just not do this right now? Like, yeah. like, I, I, can I just do this tomorrow? Like, Wait, I'll come back your tomorrow. Defense job? And, no, 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 no. This was okay. after the oh, defense job. Okay, okay. It was for a makerspace. And so it just didn't occur to me that I like had to do it. Like I, I was just like, like, hey, can I just not do this right now? And I remember the look that my boss gave me was just she just said, no, you have to do it. <laughs> was it needed for that day or what? It, it was it was just like I was tired and like. I just didn't feel like doing it. I'm I mean, not that sure. Makes sense, like, right? Maybe there's other things you could be working on right now. Well, the th- I just didn't feel like doing anything that day. <laughs> Dude, it wasn't like it wasn't like, can I work on something else? I was just like, can I just go home right now and I, I'll just come back tomorrow and I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know if that makes me a good boss or a bad boss, but I'd probably be like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I know. I would understand. I understand. Like, yeah, okay. But well, I mean, if you did it every day, then it would. Well, I mean, if you think about it, like if you're paying someone by the hour and they're straight up telling you, like, hey, I just feel like I'm not working right, right. now. And you're like, no, you have to finish out the day. Like, what kind of work are you going to get for the next three to four hours? Not good, yeah. But, right. uh, you know, I, I sat down. I just kind of, like, typed some stuff for a little longer. And then, you know, clocked out at the end of the and day. You actually did it the next day. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, I think I did a good job the yeah. next day. Uh, especially, like, looking back on it. Because I, I didn't know any of this stuff worked. But just in terms of, like, the value arbitrage of, like, I think at the time I was making maybe, like, $25 an hour. Right. And... Like, like, you know, I didn't ever know the exact number, but looking back on it, it was like an educational grant to write mm. these curricula. So it's like pro- it was easily like oh. five figures of money. Yeah. yeah. And then she's paying me to write the entire thing. Right. And then not even letting you go home when you're right. Right. And so it's like I didn't you know think about it at the time. But now looking back on it and knowing sort of how much those things are. Because at-, at the time when I heard like, oh, yeah, we got a grant to write this up. Like, Alan, can you take this on? I'm like, yeah, it didn't ever occur to me. Sort of like the the val- I was like Grant I was yeah. like oh like a, maybe like a thousand dollars right <laughs> once you realize that you have so much more power too right and I, yeah. I had zero power I didn't even have the power to t- end the day early <laughs> yeah <laughs> but once you realize that it's like you ascend yeah yeah I mean I that's like the thing that like like really really looking back on especially like early on the channel I wish I had realized I mean I think Will was probably the first person 
like when we had like the discord of like trying to figure out like mm-hmm. what rates oh, yeah. to do with sponsors. Yeah. I think you were the first person who started saying like reasonable rates. Yeah. And you right. started like you made a spreadsheet to kind of track to everything. Try to figure out yeah. How it would act. Like, yeah. I remember yeah. like I put on one of my numbers on that spreadsheet and like the the like the ratio that we found of like dollars per views or whatever we were tracking. It was like it was just abysmal. It was I think it was like some video I like I agreed to this really pushy sponsor I think it was like I did like a thousand dollars for the video, and it ended up getting I think like two million views or right. something. Right, it turned into like <laughs> what, like two cents? Or yeah, it was like it was yeah. abysmal, dude. It used to be so bad. I feel like five or six years ago on YouTube, you know, like if you, if a sponsorship comes to you, they used to do something like we're gonna take a look at your uh, your past ten videos, we're gonna get rid oh. of like the high performing right. outliers, yeah. and we're gonna average the rest of the videos. Yeah, and then yeah. it's like. Like, what are you what are you talking about like get rid of the highest like yeah no the, the it doesn't work like do that it, you realize they're like they because it's like a company and they're professionals they present it to you like fact like this is how it is like yeah yeah you're, you're basically what they would do is they would say like we really like your channel we want to advertise it on it and you're like cool then they would switch hats and they would say you're worth nothing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and you're like but you just said that you want to advertise on my channel and now you're saying my videos yeah. are shit like, yeah what? they're like <laughs> well oh. like at the at, like like i don't know for me starting out like getting a thousand bucks felt like a really big deal yeah. right a thousand dollars and they know that too. yeah but so then when you when you like you get like you start getting more smarter and you realize like when when you see like a youtuber do an integration in their video that's them doing all of the work yeah. that a company would normally have yeah. to like hire an yeah. in-house marketing and yeah. production department to do yeah. and the youtuber is doing all of yeah. that at a huge discount compared to traditional yeah. media. Traditional advertising, you have to like get paid every time an ad runs. Like yeah, a lot royalties. Of times, like, oh royalties yeah. Or this or that. Like if yeah, they get exactly. you to do something, and then that that just goes on forever. You got to pay all the actors, yeah. craft services, right. the talent. Mm-hmm. They pay you a one time fee to do the whole kit. Like if let's say you wanted to do like a thirty second commercial that got fifty thousand views. Yeah. On YouTube, as like, as like your own right. company doing in house. You'd have to write it. Yes. You'd have to like hire someone to to be the, the on screen talent. Mm-hmm. You'd have to hire someone to film it. You'd have to hire someone to edit it. You'd have yeah. to hire somebody to then like you know then you publish yeah. it and nobody watches it. So, so then you have to pay to have the platform yeah, figure shove out ads, it in how ads sense works. Like, imagine right. the, all the difficult try to find the right demographic. Yeah, yeah. like all the difficulties we have finding a producer. Now imagine right. if we had to find like mm-hmm. a bunch of them and camera people and yeah. directors and actors yeah. and like follow like union rules. Like whatever. You can't do that for a thousand dollars. Absolutely not. Like you literally cannot. It's a do. it's a huge it's a huge like value yeah. for for that. But it's like you don't know all of that when you're like when you're you're fresh and you're green and you're doe eyed. You're still confused that any of this works. You're yeah. like, oh my god, you make a video and then you know people are willing to give you some money to to yeah. talk about their product. It's like it. it's like reverse price fixing. It's like they yeah. always like try like offer you the least amount of yeah. money possible. Yeah. yeah. And you don't you don't you have no idea how much money you can actually make. It's like when they when they like ask Until you like Mark uh, Rober told me how much money he made from a sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? Like, wait, are you saying we could be doing that? And this this was like six years ago yeah. too. And it was still like I think maybe five times what I was making. Yeah. And you're like, Jesus oh, yeah, God. God. Well, and that's then why Mark Rober is smart and we're yeah, dumb. And handsome. Then I'm like, yeah, how do you do that? And he's like, oh, yeah. you, 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 you just like get an ad, join an ad agency, get a manager. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but you have to pay him 20% of your money that you make on the ad. And then I'm like, oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah. yeah. The math know, it, doesn't add it's up. It's like, yeah, you, you pay, a, a, you know, a manager 20% of like the, a finder's fee, a finder's fee for, yeah. for doing, for getting the ad. And then you end up making, you know, 40% more. And so you just take off the 20. It's like, yeah. oh, I made more money. And Why they do all the negotiating for yeah. you. And you don't have to think about it. And, you, you know, when someone tries to not pay you, then someone else is fighting, you know, for you instead of uh-huh. you having to harass them. It's like, almost like having a union or yeah, something. Like like, a, yeah, it's like just somebody on your side, like kind of, you know, position to be biased towards you. Basically. Yeah, because they want the money. Right, exactly. They're working for, like the harder, they, the more money they get you, the more money they get themselves. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, a natural incentive. Otherwise, it's like, you know, you would be like, I'll get you the most deals if I just get paid a flat rate and the deals are going to be crappy because I don't really care. Like, yeah. I'm just going to get you a bunch mm-hmm. of, of weak ones. But... Yeah, I think like the, that that was like the main thought process of that spreadsheet was like really trying to figure out like, like, how would you even come up with a price to charge? Like, like, how much would they have to pay 
for these services, right? Like for an advertisement, for talent, for this, and then you know using that, then looking at like how much Google Ads costs because I had run some Google mm, right. ads, like early yeah, on the channel yeah, that, anyway. yeah, that's a good comparison. And I realized, you know, like you're paying like tens of cents for an impression, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and so when you see you know a video and uh, you know an ad with like a hundred thousand views on it like they're paying tens of thousands of dollars oh yeah right yeah and so just like have somebody else like give the money to me yeah. and i'll say it for you <laughs> yeah like <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and so it, i don't know it's weird it's like i feel like you know you're, you're sort of when you're young you're kind of just told how everything works right and you're like oh and then you do this and then you do that and then you, and then you realize it's just everyone's playing some stupid game and they're all trying to yeah. give you as little as possible that's why it's like nobody wants you to talk about salary at work and it's like why uh-huh. Because then yeah. you're going to realize that the guy, the intern is getting paid more than you. And you're like, yep. what the hell? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, that's like, uh, I, 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 I feel like, like part of me is sad that it's like, sometimes I try and think of like how much, like I should have gotten in the first couple of years for doing like sponsorships. Yeah. And that's like, you know, it, there, there's, there's, I, I wouldn't have been able to do any better. No. Right. I, that was mm-hmm. just like me getting Probably experience. It'd been a hindrance anyways. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then it's like, you know, it's, it's still not sort of like the worst thing. Cause it's like, didn't, um, like all gas, no breaks. Like, yeah. like the deal that Did he a real had. Bad deal. Yeah. yeah. It was like, like atrocious. Yeah. And it was like something that he had like signed. It was, and like, into. It was like, like 2080 instead of 8020. Yeah. Right. It's like they got him when he was just starting out. Yeah. Sounds like a great deal. Like how MCNs kind yeah. of poach everybody when they just start making it big on YouTube. That's not really a thing anymore, but it used to be. Yeah. So yeah, yeah no, that's, he, that's he got roped into something like that. I'm trying my hardest right now not to turn this like to segue this into an NHRL thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, but we can uh, we can figure out some other uh, natural. What was the first job? We talked about first job. How much did you get? How much you get paid at your first job? My first job was it was decent. Uh, so it was right out of college. I worked for a small defense company called SAIC. I think now they're called like Lados or Lidos or mm. something. Um. And I was, I was hourly for the summer and I, I don't even remember how much it was, but I do remember that they offered me like a salaried position, um, for 70 K a year. So I was like solid starting engineering. Like over 10 years ago too, right? Yeah. 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 yeah like, like, great. you know, electrical engineering starting that was salary. Your, that was your first job. Well, that was my first job offer. I declined and I, I quit. It was not a good idea. I, I quit I took whatever money I made over the summer and okay. then I just coasted off of that for like the next five years, basically. Nice. <laughs> this is Alan's hobo arc, right? Yeah, yep. that was the yeah. entire hobo arc when it was like very... You didn't want to uh, glow max with the defense industry. Yeah. I mean, I remember at, at, at one point... It? Well, like I would I would take on sort of like, like odd jobs here and there. I remember like um i designed like a series of robotics workshops for uh, the los angeles public libraries okay and that one was like it was per workshop a flat rate so it was like i had to deliver some kind of kits to the children and like whatever was left over i could just have and so it was like a hugely hmm. good incentive to try and yeah. like make the the cheapest kits possible but still yeah this kit needs five raspberry pies <laughs> <laughs> well no it was it was like like i was i would literally like like be going to the dollar tree and like yeah like oh, taking okay, apart okay. like they used to have toothbrushes there for a dollar and taking them apart because that's a battery that's a ah. motor and it's a vibrating motor so you can turn that into an art right. it's a buck yeah it's a buck really and then for, you can make those, those little bugs that exactly, vibrate around yeah. exactly and so it's like for twelve dollars you've got a workshop for a dozen and kids i think each one was like 200 bucks so i was like hell yeah i'm making 180 dollars and I would, I would literally do that like three times maybe a month and that was that was that was being alive wait that was with saic no 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 no, no. that was after that was i oh. quit i quit the actual good paying engineering job and i started making crafts for children for okay. probably about 700 dollars a month <laughs> I think it sounds, most... it sounds like what my mom does. She's a teacher. It sounds like the exact same job. I think the most I down to going to the Dollar Tree. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. The Dollar Tree is is actually amazing for that sort of stuff. Still better than the teachers though, because you were making money off it. The teachers lose money. Off <laughs> yeah, they they gotta spend their own money. The most I ever got paid was like twenty five bucks an hour. Yeah. That was yeah, for a few months. Nice. That was like at the end of college too. So I feel like I probably shouldn't be getting paid more than that. Um, the and then everything else was like 
it, the first job was like minimum wage. I was just like a kid in high school. Mm -hmm. What job was that? Working in the machine shop. Oh, okay. It's the same, same job I kind of kept, you know, coming back to every couple of years. <laughs> um, and then I, you know, after high school, then I went to college and then I went back there during college and I said, hey, like, can I work again? And they paid me like 16 bucks an hour, I think. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was 14 and then it went up to 16 at some point. I think I asked for a raise and they said, okay. Um, I was like, hell yeah. Uh, imagine if I hadn't, then they would have never given me a raise and I still would have been making $2 an hour less. Wow. And then, uh, yeah, ask for a raise. Yeah, right? like, I was going to say, I was gonna say like, Just literally go in and ask for a raise. Oh ask my for like, God. Do it tomorrow. Ask someone for, in the comments and let us know how it goes. Like, I asked for a raise and I got fired. Thanks, guys. <laughs> like, someone's definitely okay, going to pull that shit. If you shit. ask for a raise and <laughs> yeah. you get fired from your job, <laughs> that's, that's your fault. probably a good <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it was going to happen eventually. <laughs> Yeah, they, like, would you want to be working for this job for, like, the next two years and at the same amount that you've been making? That's same my, paycheck? That's like, my personal litmus test. Yeah. Like, if you have to show up to a job interview with, like, a suit and tie, yeah. you don't want to work there. No. Nope. If Ask you go to a job interview and they want to see your college grades, you don't want to work there. Oh, God. Do they do that? Some places do. Nope. Guess like the government Not worth contractors it. like Northrop and stuff. Any of these like big. Oh, really? Yeah, because no. they don't know how to actually do anything other like, than look at numbers. Yeah, and then they're always advertising like, oh, please come work for us. Yeah. Please, 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 bro. Just please. please. Just a little, please. just a little yeah. oh, summer you got internship, a, you got a, bro. Come on, please. B, you got a B in uh, English 101. <laughs> <laughs> please, bro, some electrical engineers. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we, I see it all the time. I have never had to show a single employer that I failed math three <laughs> times. <laughs> No, twice? I don't even remember. I'm bad at counting. Wow. Anyway, go ask for 25%. Yeah, go ask for a raise. Just, yeah. I mean, if they ask for a number. Show them this podcast. Yeah. And with, uh, hey there, if you're seeing this, it's because our pal here holding the phone wants a raise. We're his references and yeah. he's doing a great, they're doing a great job. Yeah. If you get a raise and this works, you have yeah. to subscribe. And, to and if, if you <laughs> if you don't give him a raise, you're racist. You owe yeah. us a percentage of your raise. You owe us 20% of your, no, you owe us 80% of your raise. Yeah. Get, get a 20% raise and give us 80% of it. We get a finder's fee. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you literally have more money. Like, honestly, if you get a raise, uh, maybe consider bumping up your Patreon subscription. <laughs> yes. Send that a little bit, send that to our yeah. way for the send motivational a lot of speech. It. No, don't give him an excuse to send a little bit. Yeah. Oh, send a lot of oh, it. Oh, let's, yeah. let's create a new tier called uh, I Got a Raise. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> you just type in what your raise was, and it automatically does a percentage of it. The tithe. It just the tithe. <laughs> it's a tithe to the Church of Safety Third. Yeah. <laughs> We're like Mormons. They do that, right? Yeah. Ten do they do 10%? Is uh, that the more? Well, I love being a motivational speaker and and religious. I think it's like... Is it more? I think that the more you do, like the better you are. I think most of them okay. are like that. I think it's kind of, kind of a sham. Like... <laughs> Like, the, why would they stop at 10%? I think it's like... I know for Catholics, <laughs> maybe it's, I think it's 10. That's minimum, though. Really? Yeah, I think there's like a that. big thing about like giving is like more. Is that just for, for Mormons? No, there's a couple. That's like a Scientology it. thing for sure. Maybe, well, I think like, that's like a... Everything's DLC. Scientology You've got to pay to play. Yeah. It's based on microtransactions. Wow. See, because I, I like... I don't... I don't do church things. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know about tithings. I sometimes I will like become a patron personally of someone on Patreon because I think you're they, a patron saint. Yeah, I, think well, sexy. I think they make <laughs> cool drones, and, and I like to think of myself as someone who would one day print the STLs yeah. that they provide and make that. I never do, no. but it's still worth like the five dollars a month to feel like I could. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I don't really know what you get out of it, like. Because church, they don't give you STL files. No, I think you get to go to... <laughs> <laughs> no, they only give you uh, hell files. Yeah. If I you think, don't. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> you know, if I was a religion, I would definitely tie the two together. If you don't tie, they're going to hell. You'll be like, I don't know. I don't I think. I think there's definitely some some questionable ethics involved. In Jesus saves 10% of yeah. the church. It's really it's a good strategy. You scare the shit out of them and then say that, with, you know, for money that... They don't have to be scared anymore. Like yeah. That. Well, I guess if you think of it that way, it's an incredibly good value to just to give some amount of money to just feel better. Yeah. Because that's worth a. I mean, that's like all of entertainment, right? It's yeah. like you, oh, you, yeah. you fork over $20 at the movie theater <sighs> so you can not feel terrible for two hours. That's why right? it drives me nuts when you see people complaining, you know, like I, I, using ad block or sponsor block or whatnot. But like, oh, it's yeah. fine. fine. You do whatever you want. Shut the fuck up about it. Just do it. <laughs> Like seriously, <laughs> just shut the fuck up. Like don't yeah. you're like a you're like a, a you know, honestly. I'm sorry, vegans, but like you're this whiny little thing who's got this whole ideology. Like no, do it. Don't tell anyone about it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow, 
But anyone who complains and says like, oh, it's just YouTube videos. It's just like, there's a reason people watch them. Yeah. And I like, I watch videos too. And like, it can make you sort of feel more uplifted. It can make you feel like you learned something. It can make you feel like it's like a good way to pass time. Definitely. And like, it costs money to do. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't have ad blocker. I don't even have YouTube premium. You don't yeah. have. Oh my God. No. Kevin. I have, I have YouTube premium. I have ad block. The sponsor block one is stupid. That's just like, just skip it. My yeah. Hand. Honestly. Skip it my hand. You yeah. <laughs> like actually. Like you can find where the peak is after yeah. the ad and just click on it that. It makes me want to like do really like weird cliffhangers. <laughs> oh yeah. And like try to make it so that it like cuts off at a part. That's like, what? I don't understand. Like, no, it'll never work. Everybody's no, too know. smart. Just, like, yeah, care. yeah. It's got to be such a small percentage of people that do yeah. that. Yeah. You've got to like crowdsource people that watch your videos to like set the sponsor block wrong. Yeah. They've got to overpower like the amount of people that set up right. for the right time. Dude, there's so much like uh, not gas. What do, you, what do you call when people are like kind of like gassing themselves up? They're like gaslighting themselves about how. Gaslighting like, themselves. There's, there's been a lot of like uh, kind of YouTube, anti-YouTube sentiment recently especially right. on reddit oh, where like, people are talking about like the downfall of youtube like everyone's getting all philosophical about how youtube is i've never seen ads. that you haven't seen it well, well I, I it's, it's really funny to read it because it just sounds like a bunch of 12 year old kids complaining i well, hear people right complaining now, like, about the, the ad blocker thing yeah, yeah. like they're That's they're it. starting to make uh they're starting to make it a little more serious with ad blockers not right. working on the platform anymore and people are saying that like, <clears> the ads have gotten longer and there's more ads which like yeah. i get it it's annoying i haven't really yeah. noticed that I do, I do wish there was like a sort of bare bones tier where you could pay for YouTube to just have no ads and like not get anything else. Oh, see, so like something less than premium, but just to get rid yeah. of the ads. Like, I don't like what does because YouTube... I did the math a long time ago uh -huh. trying to figure out if YouTube premium paid more or less. I think everyone's hunch was it paid less. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it pays more. It, it paid does. like four times more. And I yeah, think interesting. If I back. I tried backing it. I, I don't remember, but I think it was like in the dollars per month. Huh. per person like if you were to like do you know this many views this many people like I, I think it would make sense that like probably like less than ten dollars a month like if you could pay for youtube to not have ads and that didn't include youtube music or anything it was just sort of get rid so of like ads. none of none of the other like the features that they have yeah, none of like like literally just getting rid of ads which is the oh yeah reason i paid for it like, well because it's like every ad that you see youtube is only making like i don't know a 20 like cents, maybe yeah. like 10 10 cents right 20 then, cents you know minus if all that. their costs and everything like they're probably not making a whole lot of money off individual ads and so i think for less than 10 bucks it probably would make sense to get rid of ads on the platform yeah but then you know i mean that's like that would be to me that's kind of like the the company thing of mm -hmm. like well, what can we sort of pack onto that to like shove the value up so we can charge more right general, even yeah. though they're not they don't need those additional services like right. i think they could do it for under 10 bucks i think like like five bucks a month would be a steal yeah and i think 10 bucks a month for no ads would still be a great deal like that would probably be like but then it's like why even bother i feel like you know dealing with ads is like I'm not going to pay five bucks because it feels worth five bucks to have to watch ads for me. Yeah, I would absolutely I, no way. As watching ads really? is, not, is I would rather imagine watching. I just hate, month I hate subscriptions. I just hate that. <laughs> yeah, you would rather spend a bunch of time dealing with ads I would. and clicking on stuff yeah, than pay five dollars. I would. I mean, that's, well, that's psychotic. Though. No, it's not that bad. Like uh, in terms of like when the ones that like like allow you to skip and you just click skip. I can see what Kevin's saying. Like, isn't yeah, it? five bucks though. Yeah. Five bucks. Yep. Skip. You've spent I don't have, money on I don't some have of the X dumbest premium. things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, I'm, not I'm so joking. bad, man. Like, think about it. Like, you, you, bought, uh, you bought the bus. Yeah. Are, are you, what are you implying I'm right just, now? I'm not implying anything. I'm just saying that. Wow. How many months wow. of YouTube premium is that bus? If it was five bucks. Although, you look, know, say it was here, five bucks if I had to trade that many like months of YouTube premium for a bus, it's I would 40, do it. 40, uh, no, 400. 400. Five, 4,500 divided by 5. 45 divided by 5 is... Well, it's like, say, 40, 48. 45 by 5 say, is 8, right? Say it's 48. So uh, 40... Eight, yeah. So then so there's that's, a 0, so it's 80 months. Is that right? That's not right. 800 months? Well, it's, it's 10 bucks a month, right? <laughs> well, if I say 5. <laughs> okay. Let's say it was like super No, no, cheap. okay. So let's say 10 bucks a month. Let's say okay. the bus was 4,800. Okay. So 10 months is going to be 120. 40 months is going to be 480, so it'd be 400 months and then divided by yeah. five that's or divided by two that's 800 months wait what <laughs> for okay. to get to five dollars a month yeah and then how many divided by 12 nope <laughs> oh for I years mean, you're talking like a decade. what's 80 divided by 12 this would be so easy to calculate <laughs> if only we had anything only in our pockets if we only used the that. metric system <laughs> then this no no it's not easier 
I, I mean, I don't know. No. You like, 80 like, divided by 12? No, that's not 8. Am I an idiot? That well, would, no, what, it let, would be like 7. What if, let's just seven. say like 5 years. Because that would just, be 10. Like, okay. No, it's weird. Contract. It's like 6.8. Like do, do the whole thing. 4,500? 6.6. 6. We've got years? a calculator. 6.6 years. Right uh, 4,500 divided by 5. Divided, 900. Divided oh, by I was wrong. 52. 17 years? Wait, why did you divide by 52? Oh, 900 because it was... Oh, did, wait. Is, is oh, it weekly God, or month, monthly? 12, it's monthly. <laughs> We're not doing So wait, great. multiply We're that by 52 really again <laughs> and then divide it by 12. <laughs> wait, 4,500. Divided by 5. Divided by 5, which is 900. Divided by 12. And divided by 12. No, just... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, 75 so, months. 75 years. Years. 900 months. Divide by 12 months. That's 75 years. So, based, Kevin, would, if, if right now, no exchange of money, but let's say like you agreed to not ever get YouTube premium for the rest of your life, and in exchange, uh-huh. you get a, a small bus, would you take that deal? I would take that deal. Honestly, I feel yeah. like that's the sort. I would probably take that deal, Definitely. too. Definitely. That seems that's like maybe failing the marshmallow <laughs> test, but like you get a bus right now uh-huh. for like basically nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the bus how many lasts five years? So. <laughs> how many? How many? How many uh, minutes a day do you think you spend watching YouTube ads? <laughs> it can't um, be that many. Uh, oh. What five minutes? No, one less minute? than that. Less than that. One, one, minute. Minute. one minute. One minute. Okay, one what's minute. one three hundred sixty-five minutes a year? So what's three hundred sixty-five times seventy-five? <laughs> uh, twenty-seven thousand. Uh, divided by. Uh. What do you say? 27,000 divided by Minutes. 60. God, I hope someone out there is getting something out of this math divided ASMR. I hope somebody out there really likes like okay. so bad basically that's, math that's ASMR. That's 19 days of your life. But if you get a bus. Of your, oh, of your life? Yeah. Uh-oh. Now, now 19 days, what would that be in like, you know, minimum um, wage? Divided by seven. Uh, divided no. by like eight. Or no, because we're in hours. So yeah. do times 60 again. 20 times six. Shoot. It was seven. Was it 17 days? Or was it 20? 20, 20 I'm just saying 20. 1,200. 1,200 hours. Is that right? No, that was. That what was is. Dollar. I don't what know. Are you calculating no, it? No, it was, it was. How many hours was it? It was uh, uh, 365 times um, times 75 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So 365 yeah. minutes a year times 75 years. Okay, to see how many minutes total, and then you want to turn it. And then it's like, how much working minimum wage or working whatever wage? Oh, how much money would be? Could you just buy the bus? But that that's assuming that you're like you're able to. I know. I'm just saying it's not a good use of time. No, well, I mean, I think it's along the lines of like you know pissing and washing your hands or like you know the time you spend walking away from a group of people to fart. Okay, right. Here we go. Like you you do it, but you can never wash your hands again after pissing. I don't wash my hands already. Give me the bus. <laughs> Where's the keys? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've got three sets of keys. We could all have them. <laughs> we just have to. We have to make a piss pact with each other. <laughs> Everybody pee on your hand and shake. Yeah. Every- <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I would do it. I would make that trade. Damn it. I don't. I mean, what? What? What is the value of washing your hands? We're not surgeons. What do they say? It's like. <laughs> Things that are between you and the ground you want to pay money for, right? Like a mattress or shoes. You want to buy like higher quality okay. stuff. I feel like there's there's uh, the convenience or sort of like just not having to spend the time or the brain power to like click off of an ad is like worth it. That's what people right, were paying right. money for. For what was the recording thing back in the day when that started? TiVo? No, was that TiVo the first one? Uh, yeah. So it would literally, people were spending money to record TV shows so they could play them back and skip that. Right, right. Like people spent a lot well, of money. I, I, well, I also see so you the don't value. TV shows, but that was like a big selling point is you just like press the button and yeah, it automatically skips I'm just skips saying that app. people, like that's not having to I, deal with there's it. There's value that. there for sure. I, I pay for YouTube premium. I definitely would pay for anything like that. What all I'm saying though is that it's got value, but it's less value to me than a bus. If I could trade it for a bus... For 75 years, though? Yeah. That's an insane amount of time. Well, maybe you just, maybe the bus lasts 75 years. I don't think you the take bus, really good you know care of it. The bus will die after 10 years. Now you're going to spend the <laughs> remaining years of your life with no bus and ads. 
Yeah, but like, like that seems like one of the, one of the best like returns the, the on investment you could make. It was like how many days was it? It was days or like ads or what were we talking? Well, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, here, let me throw this out there though. Okay, let's say the bus lasts for ten years. Yeah, and during that time you live in it. And the money you yeah. would have spent on rent or a mortgage, you put right into the stock market. Okay. Assuming a 7% return annually, how much money are you up ahead now you because have to you watch, traded your bus You have to watch ads, ads on YouTube videos <laughs> and you get to be basically homeless. <laughs> but the, you get to make money in stocks. Or you live on a bus I'm and so the money confused. you save renting, you pay I'm, for no ads and you get to live on a bus. <laughs> You get the yes. inconvenience of living on a bus <laughs> with the convenience of not having to watch ads. I, I'm still confused about the whole the whole uh, the first part we did where we convert YouTube Premium like the ten bucks into like the bus <laughs> part, and I've been trying to figure out if I even did the math right on that. This so is what, like this is what a spreadsheet. I, I feel like I missed I messed up. I think I missed that, something. I think that if we read the comments, that somebody will let us know. If oh, we just dude, that up. last video where we were trying to talk about science and we were really bad at it. The comments were so smart. I legitimately learned so really? much from the comments. Reading wow, that. dude. That's the best way to get yeah. to learn. There how to were do some things. like yeah. real electrical engineers oh, and man. shit in the comments Wait, explaining stuff. Can you answer it now? Well, no, I don't. One? I don't remember how they explained the Wait. things, but I remembered it. Felt good reading this them. This is the static electricity radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I when we didn't know any of that shit worked. I want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you pull it up. I'm gonna go get a God, drink. I'm so I'm glad they were this. Like, give me something. What yeah, do you want? I don't know. Whatever you're getting. What are you getting? Just give me whatever you're getting. Okay, whatever. Let's take a look here. Safety third, and I have to you know the, the unmute pos- unblock. So the I can positivity of people actually trying to explain it makes me feel so much oh. more capable of being oh. vulnerable and dumb. I I feel really good about how dumb we can be here. I feel like some of the smartest people on YouTube are so much dumber than everyone thinks they are. Oh <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, let's see. I mean, you know, there's the comments about Mark Rober. Nigel not being here, but you know, that that's is what it is. Get, you gotta get used to that. <laughs> He's in see. Canada. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But like, why isn't he here? Cause he's in Canada. Yeah. Far. But like, but like I, if we did I, a telepresence thing, he'd probably do it, but that just might come across. It might be kind of weird. You know, there's like latency. Then he has to like interrupt. Okay. So here, here's, here's, here's one. Um, there's a timestamp of what exactly we're talking about, but it says, I am the one you are giving an aneurysm. <laughs> to be frank, most stuff was pretty close, and Kevin was spot on about eddy currents and AC. UHVDC is great for long distance transmission since there's no eddy losses, meaning the entire cross section carries charge. It's also why they use hollow tube for bus work and substations. The center of a solid conductor with a large enough diameter for the current required would be widely unused. Hmm. So that's cool. That's, that's weird like, that like high it's high current or high voltage. High voltage travels on the outside of a wire. Yeah, AC. I think specifically. Uh, I think no, that's, that's, that's the skin might. effect. That's frequency. The frequency. Yeah. The frequency. Mm-hmm. The freaky C. Mm-hmm. The freaky C. Or else the Eddie Eddie's. The Eddie oh, here here's Ed, Ed, one about the static electricity thing specifically. The transfer of charges through contact is called the tribal electric effect. And yes, electrons do move, thus making ions on either side. It's just that electrons moving isn't as big of a deal as Alan puts it, <laughs> since relatively few charges are actually displaced from one surface to the other. The static zap is just the result of accumulating too many charges was being isolated and suddenly discharging them using your body as one end of a capacitor. So I guess it's just like, like, it's not like, like, it seems like a lot of electrons, but it's actually not that many. Like in the whole scheme of things, like compared to how many Can you atoms? tell that to my fingers when I get out of the car. <laughs> I know. It's like, ah, like, dude, it was bad a couple so weeks ago. So bad when the Santa Ana winds are blowing. I feel like it just charges your yeah. car. Yeah, actually, it's like, it, it's like an explosion. like a small explosion. It gets me twice, too. I don't know yeah. how it gets me twice. First one, I like, Double I, bang. dude, it's so bad. I mean, I guess realistically when that happens, what is that like millions of electrons? I think it's is once. Like billions? It hits me once when I touch the outside of my car. And then it like charges me up, I think. So then I get shocked from like accepting all the electrons. Then I step off the car and I touch the door again to close it and I get shocked again. So does it only work on like like non-conductive or like isolated things, like insulated? Like, because the car is not grounded because the wheels. So like there's a way. What is it? Tribal electric? The tribal electric effect, I think, is a thing where you rub two dissimilar materials. Yeah. How does that work? From one See that? It all falls right? apart. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's one of those. Exp- Explain that. Is, you know what? This is one of the explanations that are. It's the same explanation that I've seen over and over again. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah, when you rub it, 
you get ions on either side. But it's like, yeah, it's really it, not that much ions. Isn't and it you're a like, big deal though when something gets probably ionized? Probably trillions of ions. <laughs> Imagine like putting, oh, you have a bucket and a cup, and you like rub them together, and the water goes in the cup. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Can you look up the tribal election effect? <laughs> All right, we're getting to the bottom of this right now. Fuck, I didn't realize we were going to do a sequel to There's this. There's so Most frustrating episode yet. Keep it up. <laughs> Why is there a picture the of a baby? The tribal electric effect, also known as tribal electricity, tribal electric charging, blah, 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 describes electric charge transfer between two objects when they contact or slide against each other. Why? Okay, how? But why? But how? Some uh, things we just sort of... <laughs> the uh, picture's a cat that's covered in styrofoam okay. peanuts. That's, that's, that's cute. <laughs> uh, it can occur with different materials, such as sole of shoe on carpet, or between two pieces of the same material is ubiquitous and curious. I mean, that is nope, a good question. it's still not... Yeah, I, the, the biggest thing... What is, it, it's what like what a is, pump, but like, how does the pump yeah, work? Yeah, hold on. Who is, what is the name of... What's the username of the person is who wrote like this? Is it like a, like a, a right. mandolin? Okay, or you shave okay. Off? Like, the Minecraft 4202? Oh, uh, Why yeah, that, is the tribal electric effect even a thing why is it just taken for granted that when you rub two things okay i see some finger looking things uh, this feels like a sex ed thing <laughs> there's a lot of contact grooves pull off <laughs> rubbing uneven surfaces so is it like that this really doesn't explain as much but when it's better than a cat with styrofoam on it the two surfaces aren't perfectly smooth and so they like this whatever small discrepancies in charge like build it feels up like like almost like a maybe weird like diode or semiconductor thing going on it's like you're actually just like kind of pull, like yeah electrons right it's like a cloud it's like kind of maybe like Electrons, incidentally pumping it's just them it's in. a vibe around the atom and sometimes <laughs> yeah. you might you might just Electron rub vibe. brush some off on onto another atom so like one mound has three there's three charges one charge and then two charges I don't what's know what that means. flexoelectricity because tribology Whoa. plus Flexo flexoelectricity flex dude, flex tribal flex electricity. electricity i feel like we're actually like being indoctrinated flexo into like a weird mlm science flexo electric i want some flexo, flexo electric is a property of a dielectric material whereby it exhibits a spontaneous electrical polarization induced by strain gradient that's flexo electricity like what's pi piezo piezo electricity that's also the same thing right like when you hit something really hard like, and yeah, but that's like, i think that's like specific flex so electricity sounds more it's like an elastic general. Version of P's electricity. Depolarization electric field electrons holes. This is all horse shit. This is made <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> you know, I, was, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was on board with this explanation until the very second we asked Something a like single that. question about it, and now I'm back on board no, with that. We make this fun make of like you know again people for their healing crystals, and yet somehow this shit's all accepted. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. If you if you hit this crystal really hard, it makes a spark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flexoelectricity is closely related to piezoelectricity, but while piezoelectricity refers to polarization due to uniform strain, flexoelectricity refers specifically to polarization due to strain that changes from point to point in the material. Dude, it's magic. There's lightning inside of this rock. So if you hit it with a hammer, the lightning comes out. The non-uniform strain breaks centrosymmetry, meaning that unlike in piezoelectricity, flexoelectric effects can occur in centrosymmetric crystal structures. <laughs> it is not the same as ferroelasticity. Uh, Alan, stop. I <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so then when the electrons are gone, where do they, how do they recharge? You know, when you're lighter, you click the button and it makes a spark. Maybe it literally pulls electrons from everything else, right? Like it almost creates like a negative static charge. So it like, I guess, oh Jesus. So it, <laughs> it well, cause you hit, and, uh, you hit it. Like and the then, energy goes in and, and it like, it shits out electrons and, and maybe it goes now back there's, around a, the there's other a void. Side. Yeah. And it kind of like. There is a gradient, you know, yeah, electrical like, that's that's gradient is, in the right? air. Right. It's really high. Also, it ends up going back. So what if like, you just bang on a piezo piezoelectric? Like what? You can only hit it a couple times and it just like, <laughs> like dust comes out. Uh, yeah, it's like when you try to jump too much in a video game and it kind of nerfs you, so you can't like jump spam like in fighting games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if you bang on a piezoelectric? And you, you like rapid the, fire. Yeah, yeah. You rapid fire and you don't you like insulate it around it. Like does it does it just dry out? Well, it doesn't like the if if it's. Are we doing a PhD thesis right if now? If it's in it's, oh, like maybe it's if like it's insulated, then the, I don't think the charges get to move. It. I think it just 
you create you create a potential difference, but it doesn't like resolve. Now I'm thinking of it like a magic so game. Piezo electricity magic materials gathering. do not typically de- deplete electrically the same way as batteries or capacitors can lose charge over time. Yeah, but like, how does the charge return? Like, I'm assuming it just ends up well, it, it, one less electron because positively charged. If yeah. if, if there's does it no gobble up electrons from the shit next to it. If you yeah. if you're insulating it and it's not actually like like actually creating a a, a current Bro, this i think like you're just creating a potential about. difference the from one end to the like other shits out from it. it's like a battery right the battery is not like really creating a current it's like the end well, of the well, wires I, is a chemical so reaction. think of it I think, think it's of creating it like, like a, a, a large late... like voltage it's creating a large potential gradient yeah. that can like yeah. resolve when there's a spark but if there's no spark i think it's fine i think it would just but like, like the it's still potential sh- it like, and then it goes back it shoves the electron out or it shoves everything out and if it leaves and it's, it's kind of gap, it's kind of like a it's like it's, it's like a like black a, hole. Think of like right. a you know the black it's hole. Void. It's like a bowling yeah. ball on a big latex sheet. It's like a depletion. Right. And then eventually uh, the electrons return back and they fill but it's, in the it's, hole. It's, like, a, it's just a potential. It's not like shoving yeah. anything. Well, it's just giving. Well, it's mo- it's moving it. It's, it's moving it. It shits out the electron. It's giving the potential for an electron to be shit. Yeah, but it doesn't like enough voltage will spark, which is kind of like how piezo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that's fine because. If you create a path for it and it sparks, charge moves from one end to the other, but then like I don't think anything's being lost, right? No, Does no, it it's, act, it's it like have to move I think it's probably there. just like like pushing water <laughs> up a pipe and it's gonna come back down of it. It's I gonna love like refill. That what we're, if you like shove really the water out the different like like sciences yeah. here? Cause now we can get like, I don't know, geologists mad at us, because now we're talking piezo electricity oh yeah. and rock stuff. How it is. It is. Is are there natural piezoelectric rocks? They are natural. Yeah. Oh, well, well, you know what? Rocks. Work. I've heard <laughs> that when there's an earthquake and, and you get piezoelectric rock rocks smash up against each other, they'll make like lightning, like no roars fucking in the sky. way. Are you are you memeing right now? Or are you? Are you I've, I've heard it from a credible you know, source. Bet, You're you fucking can, around right now. There's no could, fucking way. You can charge the <laughs> shit out of a healing crystal with one of those. <laughs> Dude, you could. Right. I I hate that I'm not entirely sure if you're you're making that up. You're 100% making Science it up. Science still doesn't know if it's true or not, but I choose to believe. Is ball lightning real? Did we ever... I, I swear I've seen it before. Man. No, f- where? I swear, How? bro. What? I've seen it with my own eyes, all right? In I Florida? Was, uh, in Florida. Swamp gases, man. It's always I was swamp at, gases. I was at my friend's house. We were riding ATVs, and I see this really bright light, like 10 feet above the ground. I, it was so bright, man. I swear, it was like the sun came down, and it was on the ground. I wonder if it's like and, a... and I turn around, and I see it for one second. I look back at my friend. I'm like, yo, what is that? I turn back around, and it's like evaporating. I no way. I don't know. You actually saw I, ball lightning. I think, you think it was like under a power line though. So I'm wondering if like a bird hit a power line and fell down at <laughs> the ground. <laughs> it wasn't ball lightning. It was I a, definitely a saw. I fire. definitely <laughs> saw like like a a big ball of plasma persisting for like a, a few seconds. Turns out it was just a white hot bird. <laughs> God, I wish they they had gotten to that on MythBusters before the show ended. Of just seeing if ball lightning was really just birds on fire. <laughs> just see if people could if if it's distinguishable at all. Because they see that it like they kind of bounce around and like you know a bird on fire would also kind of bounce around. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. They well, the say anything about ball lightning uh, shrieking and then lying on the ground and creating and feathers. feathers. Yeah, everywhere. feathers coming out of ball lightning. It's God sending a message, <laughs> or a bad angel, maybe. I the, the 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 issue that I have is like like you know there's historically recorded ball lightnings, right? But now that yeah. like everyone's got smartphones, when's the last yeah. time you saw like a YouTube short that was like someone seeing actual ball lightning? You think it would have happened by now? I've seen more balls or like on security <laughs> than security ball camera lightning. footage. Like right. when yeah. you when you saw that ball lightning, yeah. why didn't you whip out your phone, it was, Kevin? It was too fast. It was too, <laughs> and it was blurry. They're just innately blurry. It's but not like, like you know, like like a Russian like, dash cam hasn't picked it up by now. Like they they literally saw like a like a meteorite yeah. because there's so yeah. many of them. Well, you've seen so many meteorites. How come you never record them? What? Well, someone else has. Yeah, well, but I'm saying like meteorites. I've I I've never have I seen a meteorite. I don't think I've seen a meteorite. shooting star. Oh. That's different. Right. That's different. It's, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if someone held a gun near your head, yeah, and said, "Do you think ball lightning is real?" What would your answer be? I would say, uh, I would say, yeah. Really? Yeah, I saw something. Wow. Holy I don't know shit. what it was. I, I, I wish. I, I, I wish. Trust myself enough. If no, if there's not a lot of like, yeah. you know, video evidence of it, which I feel like there should be, statistically, it's probably more likely that it doesn't. Not. I mean, I I saw something I can't explain. Yeah. I don't know That's what it exactly was. Exactly where you don't come to a conclusion. And <laughs> yeah, say, it doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Because I saw something, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is how big it like, exists. I I just like I wish I did have. If a he video. was real, how come I no honestly had, no I think about it? I'm like, let me just see. Like, dude, I wish there was video of it. A Are you big having sex. 
and ball ball lightning. <gasps> but maybe it's Bigfoot's balls or yeah, just big ball lightning. lightning. I saw somebody they said something like, uh, you know, it's even scarier than Bigfoot existing. The fact that like he's like people are getting real pictures of him and he's just actually blurry. Like you look at him. <laughs> He comes towards you and it's like a big blurry thing. Anger, also, man. wait, what, when yeah. was the original sighting? Because wouldn't that be like 50 years ago now or something? Balling? Like, no, a Bigfoot. Bigfoot. So, like, wouldn't Bigfoot have first, to be Bigfoot like sighting? 100 years old now, depending on how old he was whenever Dude, they took there's a There's a bunch of them. Bigfoot 100% is not real. I agree. If anyone disagrees in the comments, please give us give us a a, a reasonable explanation of why. If you or someone you know has been fucked by Bigfoot, leave a comment <laughs> down below. Uh, please call one eight hundred Big Cash, it, and and you may in, be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> <laughs> New Bigfoot footage. Oh, in Colorado a month ago. Yeah, ABC is reporting. I haven't oh, seen this yet. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking Bigfoot! Whoa. He's real. You see, you know it's real because they're using. <laughs> Great. Now we can't. Now we can't show this because we're gonna get copyright nice. <laughs> hit by Jack. Don't worry, the news can't because they're reporting on facts. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> it's about Bigfoot. <laughs> Dude, if I did that, they would pull the video. I would get mm -hmm. like. Jack yeah, Black would steal all my money. You need to claim it's fair use because why would you steal my money, doing Jack some Black? Some kind of commentary on the idea of a Bigfoot. Dude, if, if Big, Bigfoot was real, somebody would have killed it by now. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, actually, Especially in Colorado. What a bounty, dude. I bet you somebody would pay millions of dollars for uh, Bigfoot's head on a board. It's fucking Bigfoot. Is he squatting and shitting? What's going on? Dude, he's going to start throwing crap at the train. Whoa, maybe that's why they get the name Sasquatch. Uh, <laughs> Sasquatch. That's a Bigfoot. That's for sure. That, there is more evidence for Bigfoot than Ball yeah. Lightning. Do you know how he knows point. he's real? Is because he's really small in the frame. <laughs> Also, why is this? Why does the subtitle here say AI reveals Bigfoot from Colorado train in enhanced HD video? That's well, it has to be. It's like now. AI generated Bigfoot because it was like a, a smear on the camera that just got like a, a delusionally AI turned into a Sasquatch. Like what if? Wait, so it was upscaled by AI. So what if Apparently. the original video is like a deer? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there he is! Yo, if that's AI doing the upscale, it looks like shit. <laughs> you know, it looks like the. I love this is TMZ. TMZ's reporting on a fucking Bigfoot it's sighting, a slow day. and we're reporting on TMZ reporting on a Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> I trust us more than TMZ. <laughs> All right. Well, wait. I think that uh, Bigfoot's not real, and ball lightning probably also isn't real. No, I probably just got hit in the head too many times when I was riding the ATV. Dude, you know, like even the idea of it being real lightning, but it was so bright that you like retinas couldn't handle it. <laughs> no, it was it was clear out, <laughs> just clear a, a ball, clear skies, a glowing ball that just in the afternoon like, was just chilling in front of you. Yeah, well, it's like a lens flare though. Maybe right? it was like, God. Something that's too bright. Maybe will just maybe create artifacting. Maybe like, maybe I'm your eyes just be didn't religious. See it right. Maybe I asked for a sign, and then God's like, "Here's your sign." And then I'm like, "Yeah, ball lightning." Yeah, that was ball lightning. <laughs> it was God's balls. <laughs> oh, like dips, in, yeah. dips, dips them through like the some yeah. kind of like well, portal to, to get down there that quickly. You have to like really drag them to the atmosphere. Oh, fast. oh my God! You're and right. They're so they're like hot. incandescent yeah. balls. <laughs> His balls are just glowing tungsten. <laughs> <laughs> tungsten balls from God. Six hundred Kelvin. No, six thousand Kelvin. Balls from God. Balls That's from God. a reasonable explanation. Would you rather get rods from God or balls from God? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I want I want one rod and two balls from God, please. <laughs> I want two rods yeah. and one ball from God. Dude, you know if there is like a heaven, he's gonna play back this footage when mm -hmm. when we get there. Oh God! If there's well, a this heaven, means we're in, right? Yeah. If there's a heaven, I don't want to rewatch Safety Third for Eternity. <laughs> that doesn't sound like heaven to me. Mm, interesting. That sounds like another place. Uh. <laughs> In 4K, it, they've you can upscale in heaven as much as you want. Oh, that would be cool. You know, I wish like you could get some kind of recap of your life because I was like up in some mountains earlier today, mm -hmm. and I was like, I wish I could just know like, is there any ancient like Indian gold on this mountain or anything, or like was already or like a, a stash? So of treasure. the only thing you're gonna find is a burial ground. A treasure stash. You, you know? would just want to know like if you ever walked by treasure, if you ever like yeah. had the God vision. Yeah. I feel, I mean, like, you know, there's tons of those things. Like how many, how many times did I do with this in my life or something? Scary. 
Yeah, how many you know? uh uh how much of the water like how I, many how many bottles of Tabasco did I drink in my how life? How many pools of piss have I made? Exactly. I wanna know exactly which dinosaur's piss I've drank in, in my lifetime. Oh, yeah, oh, that too. It's probably every yeah. dinosaur. Have, like all how many of them, atoms I, of I Albert Einstein's pee have I drank in? I wanna s I wanna see uh how much of how many of my farts has Jeff Bezos breathed? How many molecules of yeah. my farts uh-huh. has Jeff Bezos had That's to breathe a good one. in? What if it was like like double digit percent? <laughs> Thirty <laughs> percent. Holy shit! Like, like, what really? happened while I was alive? <laughs> it's like now all you're gonna think about your whole afterlife is how Jeff Bezos managed to sniff thirty percent of your farts. I, I mean, hopefully, presumably, he's gonna die before we die, right? So he'll he'll no, have as long as you keep farting, he's gonna or down there, whichever that, way. How old are you now? Thirty three. Thirty three. What would what would two thirds of your life be right now? Uh, twenty two. Like you were at, at two thirds, thirty three. Oh, half, I would have to die like sixty six. No, what's, wait. What, you're like like forty five to fifty. Forty five to fifty. between forty five and fifty. So it's like what half, every half your pl- add half your age to your. Oh, okay. So like sixteen. So yeah, like forty nine. Forty nine. So that means he's gonna 50. kidnap you tomorrow. Okay, and until I'm fifty, and then until you're fifty, he's gonna sniff your farts and then he's gonna kill you. <laughs> That's just a Holy game theory, though. Shit. What if that's how I he powers the rockets. I believe that we've looked into the future just by doing a little bit of like, math. <laughs> could like you imagine, actuaries. Imagine somebody told you that you were going to talk about Jeff Bezos sniffing 30% of your farts before you started recording this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. There's something I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. It's back to the rocks. I want to talk about more rocks. It's more rocks. Piezo is right. like, yeah, let's go. P- the rocks, piezo, rocks, rocks. Piezo, piezo electric rocks. Piezo electric There's rocks. a gun that uses mm. the piezo electric effect. Can you look up piezo electric gun? How? I don't know, man. The military, bro. If they find a way to 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 do something with the gun, they're gonna a do it. A piezo electric pistol? No, no fucking way. No, this isn't even the one I was thinking about. But uh, cl- can you click on images? No. Oh, oh yeah. wait, that's it's, cool. It's the one on the bottom, the bottom right. Wait, I totally get what that other thing is, and that's really cool. But what is this? It's a, it's like a, it uses a blank to slap a piezo crystal really hard in a rifle, and then it has like a tuned antenna. Oh, it's to, that, to be that, an it's EMP. Like, like a pulse, like a voltage spike that induces a current Dang. into like electric things to break them. Holy shit! So Over, it's like overload them or whatever because. Like, like you, you can take all the energy that's in that in a blank. blank and mechanically a, turn it. it. Yeah, it's like, like, yeah. Even if it was like, like, really inefficient, that's still a shit ton of energy you're turning right into electrical energy. Yeah, and, and then like pumping it into tiny little transistors inside of like a computer or, yeah. or something like that. That's cool. I feel like you almost is it one time? No, I think it probably works a couple times. Really? Wow. I don't. I don't actually think it works at all. But. <laughs> That's why we haven't really heard anything else about it. Do you know how much current? Or maybe that means it works really good. Dude, it's gotta be like Oh yeah, like a, a spike in the like gigawatts. Like the, yeah, it would like the antenna would like explode. No, no, because it's like I don't you know, oh, it's like a, a spike. Ass. That's how you know it's not really that picture. That's how you know it's good. It's been tested, but they haven't disclosed its range. That's cool. It's because you want it. You want like uh, an impulse, right? Like you don't want. Wait, a... you uh, ultra wideband radiating using explosive power from the M4 rifle. Oh, is this the patent or the or the? Oh, it's like, like a little. Uh, this is a high school presentation. Holy shit! This is no. A... This is this is. This oh, look, there it is. Oh, it looks it looks crappier than it does yeah. as a drawing. The picture's way. Cooler. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on someone's kitchen table. What is this? <laughs> It's yeah. like one engineer has like a, a side project. You yeah. Know? Have you ever wondered what you'd be doing if you weren't making YouTube videos? It's probably making this slide right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This would be cool. I, I I've been wanting to make one of these There's for video. No way. I don't think so. I bet you it shits out like a and the piezo just explodes. Yeah. <laughs> well, because you would need it just shoots the piezo out like a bullet. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> how, how much? Huh, well, it worked. I destroyed the computer. There's gotta be a cap on the piezo, right? Like what what's like the max a piezo can output? Yeah. Like there has to be something. It's not just like. A one exactly. It's not like there's twenty thousand joules of energy yeah. inside of that crystal. Right. It's like putting unless a you unless you like air compressor directly in your lungs. Disassemble it like louder. particle by particle. Right. So like which how, I don't think it does. It, like, it just squeezes the electrons out. Like, like if you just like, if them. you detonate a piezo, what happens? Like for for a fraction. Oh yeah, of, that's also a thing. That's like it. Yeah. Does oh, it, I don't know. Does anything happen? 
Uh, no, but there is some kind of cool things that the army figured out where if you like detonate a core, like a coil of wire, yeah, like you, you just charge that, a, yeah. like a capacitor through it and then blow it up. It's just like, you're like short. The, the magnetism is just like, okay, I'm just going to go like off into the air like, now. You, yeah. go, you go from like current to magnetic field and you Which collapse gets, the wire. So yeah. that what is one giant, like what is a long inductor then turns into like a single conductor inductor. Yeah. And, and then, then it's like you, you cut it and then the magnetism is just like, it's free. It has nowhere to go. And so it or just something turns like, into like that a disgusting spike that then turns into, and then, it, and then your turns computer into a ghost turns it back into <laughs> electrons. <laughs> yeah. And the ghost goes into electronics and lets the magic smoke out. And then the electronics don't work anymore. Is it like an inductor inductor? If I could uh, blow, if I could have explosives, that would be one thing that I would try to make. I don't think you could do it. And the, you know what would suck? Even if you did it, you couldn't record it. No. Because your your camera would explode. You yeah, it. you'd fry your camera. You put it in a Faraday cage, loser. You know made, that. <laughs> what, if, what if you? What if it made ball lightning? That'd be cool. Gun that shot yeah. ball and lightning. That's why it's never been recorded because it also the government's just been <laughs> gaslighting everybody yeah. this whole time. Well, they can't record it. They're trying to distract. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Also, I'm what saying, is that? What's what that other Bigfoot, static gun? I, no, I, I think I, I, I think it's literally like the um like the electro boom magic wand, but the voltage is generated with piezoelectric elements and not like like a, a Walton Cockroft. It's just thing. like a Arduino that's and cool. a servo just going. That's my guess because it looks like it's pointed at a thing to demonstrate that it's going to be able to charge that thing from a distance, right? Yeah. So I feel like it's literally just like the sparker for a lighter, but like uh, on a spike that's pointed in a gun form factor, so you can pull the trigger. What does that say? Cellophane is wrapped around nylon strings and pulled down. The strings repel each other. A gun containing a piece of electric crystal is aimed at the string, pulling the trigger, causes the gun to emit uh, positive ions. Negative ions are emitted when the trigger is released. When the trigger is released, the strings relax. Okay, so where do the ions go? They just go forward? I guess. What happens if you don't put it near that? Does it just like gather on the gun? Also, this gun's really not cool. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, well, it depends on what it does. I haven't seen this before. Could have just been like a wand. I think that would have been more fitting. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a gun because it's cool. It's got a trigger. That's cool. Oh, the, it's oh that was the, it it's though. Ripping the that charge was... off of it. Oh, is it like? Is it, it radioactive? It. Wait, is the is is it like? Because you know they have those like anti-static wands and it just has uh, polonium in them. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh wait, what it says negative ions are released. Electric gun. Oh wait, no, I'm pretty sure that's actually what it is. It's like beta particles. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wait, but how is that piezoelectric then? Isn't that or just alpha, I don't know. radioactive? <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. It's a physics and astronomy. Still doesn't make any, we never really answered the question. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, also, the demonstration is so quick. Like most of the demonstration is just this guy wiping down a bunch of strings and then he goes, and he points this little like sci-fi blaster at it, and a real man would point at it. Is it making some noise too? It's like, yeah, it sounds like maybe it sounds yeah. like something spinning around the, the range. Is also it looks to be about six inches. <laughs> yeah, I think something else is going on on the inside of that. It's probably not just like exposing some radioactive thing. It's probably just like clapping the piezo. You could like oh, when you, you pull could the put, trigger, it just like hammers yeah. it like a spinning. You can put pin. you can put energy into piezo. It's like a clock, right? Can you like charge it and then like induce? No, no way. Like you can induce movement and then it let it collapse on itself, kind of thing. Well, I'm, you you can like you can, knocking on it. Like maybe if you put energy into it, it releases it much faster than you put into it. Like even if it's inefficient. Well, make any I, sense? I don't think like, it stores it though, because when it's you like put, pulling a spring and like it sucks it, it up like a sponge. When you put energy into a piezoelectric element, it'll deform mechanically. Yeah, and then you stop, and then it. Just freaking contracts on comes itself. back yeah and then oh, it, it, like it clap okay, like you okay. can't clap as hard as it can clap so you like you you like spring it and then you let it clap on itself huh uh, if anybody works with piezoelectric materials can you send me a big chunk of it so i can uh, shoot it out of a gun <laughs> you can make you can make your own weekly piezoelectric crystal i think like rochelle salt or whatever it's called yeah i saw that on the list up there yeah yeah i think you can you can like grow your own giant rochelle salt crystal and i think it has enough of a piezoelectric effect to like you know move a multimeter or whatever oh cool if you make like a giant one you like just tap it with like foil on the sides the army one uses you the tap lead, it gently the with a 22 one. caliber <laughs> oh what about the tribal electric effect oh well that one you just you just need uh uh you'll just take uh, a, a rabbit 
and attach it to a brushless motor and then <laughs> rub the rabbit uh, on um, glass or whatever really, really fast. Broken glass. Yeah, broken glass. <laughs> spin that sucker around. And then that shrieking sound is is ball lightning when the right. thing catches oh, on fire okay. and shoots off. And then Bigfoot will come and gobble up the half-dead <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> I, I mean, I can sort of like commiserate with seeing something. How old were you when you when you probably saw like thirteen? Yeah, fourteen, so fifteen. I, I was I was like probably around. I think I might have been like ten ish. And I swear to God, there was one time where I was in my friend's garage and I saw a bug that was like it looked like it looked like a a like a fly, but didn't have wings. It was like a blue beetle looking thing. But it had like like a like dandelion wisps coming out of its back. So like okay. it was like it was floating through the air, but like passively. Okay, yeah, like a like a dandelion seed. Yeah, and I remember like like we I remember as a child, so these memories are probably completely wrong, but I remember me and my friend looking and going like, whoa, like that's such a weird bug. And then like it floated out of the garage and like just huh into nature and i remember thinking for like years like oh wow yeah like there's bugs that like that passively fly like that but then like when i was a teenager and i like started looking it up i was like oh yeah there was that weird bug i saw i tried like forever to like google to like look through bug books or whatever and i don't it, it's not real i don't think those exist must have just been like dust or something I, I, it was a bug. I remember. That's what they say about UFOs. Huh? It was a hot air balloon, a yeah. weather balloon. Do you know the the toilet swamp gas? Yes, yeah, swamp gas. Yeah. You know the paper you put on the toilet seat to protect it. Uh, yeah. I always, I always hated those because uh, I would put them on the wrong way and didn't realize it, and I would like rip the centerpiece out. Uh huh. But you actually put the centerpiece towards the front. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I've given this advice before. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, which way? You put the the fold, you know, the part with the flap or flap, yeah. and put that over where your ding dong goes. No, that yeah. goes in the front. Yeah. You don't rip that off. You don't rip it off. But why? Why does it go in the front then? How how does that make it better? It doesn't. You just don't have to rip it off. Because if you put it in the back, it kind of gets like I like pulls it. Right. Well, I thought it was right. there, so it kind of like catches the poo, so it doesn't do a backsplash. No, I I no, I have no idea. So that goes in the front. I think so. But then yeah. if you pee on it, it might. No, it's fine. It's yeah. Anyway. I know, that was my childhood memory. Interesting. I figured it out. I think that's so. swamp gas too. I don't believe that for a second yeah. that you're supposed to do. Wh who I'm told sure. you that? What? What? I just tried to magical no. bathroom and I wizard. All I know is you had to rip it. I'm like ripping out a stupid. And it always like rips the thing yeah. in half when you try to do Shit, that. Can you, can you look up the paper toilet seat? Like I just imagine also, you, you don't want your your wiener like flipping out and hitting the hey, toilet seat. For yourself. <laughs> You don't want it dangling oh, down in the water. I, yeah, I have right. a. I hate that problem. It's to keep when, it from when dangling my dick is so long. I literally will sit on public toilet. toilets even when I don't have to use the bathroom. <laughs> okay, wait. Toilet See, paper toilet. In the back. toilet it works better seat. when you put it on the front, though. Nah. Yeah, it does. I'm telling you, you t you rip the thing it out and you put it down in the I'm toilet bowl. So when you poop, in a you don't get splashed. Stall back. and like some man, like you, you put the seat down and some man just like crawls under it. He's like, they have it in the front. It works better on the front. They have it in the front. I actually think that there's no, there's maybe they don't even have a dedicated direction, but it works way better on the front. I. Because it's, I think it's closer to the water. Because if you put it in on oh, the back, wait. it will like pull it in. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe that's yeah. why you have it, so it pulls it in when it flushes. Yeah, but it pulls it in either way. But it doesn't pull it in before you flush, which I think sometimes putting it on the back. Can be oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like it's this is actually really if fun. the water level is too low. Can we get like a some kind of like a toilet expert? To, yeah. to comment on this if there's any toilet perverts watching this yeah like uh oh a plumber you know that's who what you they're are called. Uh, yeah sorry <laughs> we know I'm who sorry, you are I too forgot. plumber i forgot plumber <laughs> toilet pervert yeah if there's God. any uh marios or luigi's out there can we get like a definitive answer here of um which way that's supposed to go which way is that supposed to go like also Janet, if there's any entom entomol ed entom entom if there's any entomologist entomologist edom not entomologist and entom entomologist Please let me know if there's such a thing as a bug that flies on air currents passively that would be visible to the naked Land. eye. Like a, a big one, right? <laughs> you said it was like big, It right? was like a fly. It was like a okay. blue fly, but yeah, without wings. Fungus. Yeah, it had just like fungus dandelion things growing out of its back. And so it just was you able to like passively I think I, I think I know what happened. What happened? It was a spider. 
A spider, a spider. Well, two things. Okay, it number one, like a fucking. It was a fly beetle. It was a beetle, and the spider sucked it dry, and then kicked it out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> heaven, stop! And then kicked it out of the web. Listen, I, like, you know, this is a family like, podcast. Now I'm now I'm done with you, and and it's like get out, get out of my home. <laughs> Kicks him to the street, and since he's sucked dry, he just floats away. And, and there's the still bits of spider web attached to him that look like little fungus. Covered in spider gunk. You yeah, saw, when you were yep. a teenager, you saw spiders <laughs> sloppy seconds. Also, maybe it's just like a spider that that like rides on air currents because they do that. They, they right, they do parachutes. Yeah, baby spiders do that, right? But like, like, are there any bugs that just do that like normally? I don't know. Also, if there's any ball lightning experts. Tell us, please, where we can find some ball yeah. lightning we to need an film. Ex- we need an expert in ball So theorem. we can be the first podcast to ever film real ball lightning. The nicest ball <laughs> And not the, one, not the one that the YouTube video from like 10 years ago, some guys like playing with a welder in their garage. It, was, it wasn't like that. See, that's what I think probably happens most of the time. Yeah. Is it just too bright? And your eyes can't handle it, and it just appears and you just like a look sphere. like a bigger, ball. bigger yeah. than it is. Well, no, it just it like rounds out. Like oh, a lens I see. Oh, okay. I think you can get like you can get all sorts of optical aberrations with your eyes, like like uh, what do you call the streaking from headlights? Oh, like the when you see oh, like, like astigmatism. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there's got to be a term because even if you don't have it, like the the non perfectness of your eye causes like like highlights to like do crazy shit, like lens flare. Oh. You know, like the lights will be like like smeared i think you have an astigmatism it's not bad <laughs> most normal people don't have that I, are you, do you when you at night there's no 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 i when, maybe, when you see headlight? like lines coming off the headlights is that yeah. what we're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or is that your windshield doing that that's well that's your windshield like, like if you look at a street ice. light or a bright light and you see streaks because i let me tell you i bought <laughs> People see lights coming off lights. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me or do all people oh, see? Oh, astigmatism. Wait, yeah. do I have astigmatism? <laughs> Is this how you found out? I guess. Maybe. Wait, why do some people see starburst? Pe- some people, wait, is that not a s- normal? It's not normal. Wait, so I've that's only a this some like people. What 30... the fuck? Do I have astigmatism? <laughs> do I have stigmata? Have I stigmated myself? I've been living like thinking that I'm normal for 30 years. And what then like the last year, fuck? two years ago, I bought like a, a red dot site, like a laser site for my BB gun. And I was looking at it. I'm like, this laser is messed up. I got to send it back. They sent me a bad you one. You could not see it. Because no, I saw it, but it looked like it was like a little blurry. Like it had like a weird line coming up. You know, it was blurry. It wasn't a perfect dot. And then I start reading the reviews and other people are like, no, you have an astigmatism. They're like, I thought there was something wrong with it. And then it turns out like, oh no, there's a test. Use your phone, take a picture of it. And if it's a perfect circle, it's fine. And it's your eyes that, that are the problem. It's so like I, I did that. One wavelength that like gets distorted? No, no. It's like all wavelengths. Uh, so wait, 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 so a, like, astigmatism like, is like, you know how your eyes should be a perfect cer- like sphere or right, whatever? Yeah. It's like you have another like, it's like rounded funny. Or there's like another little peak on your cornea. So you have like two points of focus. Okay, so wait, what, yeah, is, yeah. what is this supposed to look like right I, now? I see like, like a, a, a blur coming off of that main light. Here's the thing. Like a it's, lens flare. You can see it more when your pupil, pupils open more at night. You can't so really see it. I'm actually day. noticing that like, like, like if I stare it's right at it, eyes open, it's fine. But then if I like squint or I move, no. then Road starbursts, road. yeah, starbursts come out. Is that normal or is that? No, see, this is what it looks like on my phone, which is also kind of dirty. Oh, well, now I can't see it because now there's a dot in the middle of my vision yeah, for some reason. See, that, that's, that <laughs> no. I think is what ball, ball oh, lightning shit, is. Guys, look, ball lightning. <laughs> oh my God, it's ball lightning. <laughs> but the, yeah, the simplest. at night, your pupils yeah. open more. So you have more of the like mm. focusing area and that's when you see your astigmatism. The worst. Astigmatism, not during the day. But so like, is that, but, but is that something that like happens to it's everyone like your camera or when just you open the some aperture people? All the way? I feel like everyone it has a blurrier. mile. There's no way your eyes are perfect. Even like that fanciest cameras still have aberrations and, and artifacting. Okay. So it's like, that's totally. I think it has to be normal. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way that there's somebody who doesn't see it in some way, shape or form. I think it's like probably most people that don't see it at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Like not even a tiny bit. Even I mean, at, maybe like, a tiny bit, like but I think like sun, it just looks prob- probably you fix astigmatism. <laughs> you can. How many people have astigmatism? One in three people. And it can get better or worse over time. Shit, when does it get better? That happens. I'm still seeing. They can fix it. Normal vision is still blurred. 
like look normal at that. vision, totally... vision with a stick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you you just have blurry eyes. Well, <laughs> no, I, I don't. I might have astigmatism then. I don't know. That looks very familiar to me. The streaks. Okay, here's a here's an easy way to tell. If you look at subtitles on a TV, mm-hmm. like watching a movie at night, uh-huh. and you can kind of see like a double image. Stigmatism. No. Okay, okay. I don't. Yeah. I don't get that. Go to an eye doctor. They have you stare at a little. Uh, they 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 put you in this thing. Like you put your head in this like thing. A saw trap. Yeah, exactly. And then it shows you a nice little picture of a of a hot air balloon. And then it flashes blue lights at your eyes. And then it shows the hot air balloon on fire <laughs> <laughs> falling. And yeah, that, and then they can like image your cornea. They can, oh, they take a picture of your cornea. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, your shit's all fucked up. Oh baby. yeah, yeah. But guess what? You can't you can't fix it because your eyes change like slowly change, so they won't let me get LASIK because mm. it like slowly changes. Like you know, I've been. I have great vision, but I have astigmatism. Right. I'm like 2020, and then like I went in two years later, it was 2025. So it changed in that time. So I can't get laser eye surgery to fix my astigmatism. Wait, yeah, is 2025 better or worse? 2025 is a few it's, years later it's, than it's, 2020. Right? <laughs> I don't know what like. Yeah, how does that it work? 20, it's 2023 right now. Yeah. So, but it'll be 2024 pretty soon. I also can't count. Eye, what if your eyes were just bang on the ear? That would be weird. Like 2020 20, and 2020, 2020, 2021 and twenty. I might have been 2020 and 2020. Okay, but wait, <laughs> is, isn't that actually good though? Like 20, 2020? Yeah, it's vision? good. It's like I can see things and they're not blurry, but they're, uh, they're also like two of them. Would you ever, mm. would you ever or they're do, smeared sometimes? I don't know. Would you ever pull a Tiger Woods if you could and get LASIK to make your vision better than normal? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I want that super. He- I want like 4K vision. I don't understand why that's okay in golf. Like, I don't get why it's not okay. It's well, because well, <laughs> I would also take steroids to get superhumanly well, strong. Well, it, like, is there any <laughs> like if you could get a surgery to just make yourself better at a sport? I think usually it'd be frowned upon, but doing LASIK to make your eyes better than like normal. Like 1520. Yeah, because t- I think that's something you literally did. One of my did. legs reversed. Like, <laughs> you want to kick backwards. <laughs> I mean that's that's a thing. I'm gonna get another bicep totally put do. on my arm. <laughs> I'm implant a hydraulic cylinder in my bicep <laughs> so that way I, my, I can rip my bones and muscle out of my body. <laughs> that's a good trick. I mean, I feel like that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like it's not really augmentation or anything. It's just. But it's 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 better than 2020 vision. I think some people have better than 2020 vision, right? Okay, so it's like as long as it's within the realm of like what you could naturally do, then getting like I a think surgery. A, like a one-off surgery that isn't like a continuous performance enhancing thing is probably fine. Okay, okay. So like if I just like at one, one point minute, surgically seconds. add or one hour, two, 23 minutes. If I add a pair of legs to my butt, so I have four legs because right. some people historically have been born with four legs. That's I'm sure true. You could find a case of that. Uh, and they it's probably just, work great. You, yeah, but like if it's a one time thing, and then I participate in a I don't know what's a sport where we oh, really get that four legs. It's horse. Oh, boy. oh, oh. <laughs> uh, soccer. Okay, and then I become or, a professional. Uh, a goalie. Goalie. goalie yeah. <laughs> is that is that is Ooh, that okay? Uh, polo. If I oh horse am polo. I am I oh the you're the horse yeah you're someone's like, riding me <laughs> well I horse think boy if I counted as a horse Would that would glasses, be glasses two eye horse boy <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a huge advantage over a regular horse because you'd be so much smarter <laughs> think of the strategy that you could do with a horse boy instead of uh, a horse. all the horses look at you funny because you're really tiny wiener. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't this guy like, smells something off something wrong with that yeah, horse <laughs> something, this is the ugliest horse I've ever seen <laughs> uh, he has glasses <laughs> he has a great personality though <laughs> sorry to anybody who has glasses and has four legs and has four legs and or has four legs that reminds me of um, there's like like this old uh, episode of Robot Chicken where they reveal that like E.T. was actually just like the stupidest alien that was there, <laughs> which when you watch the I watched the movie again recently, <laughs> it kind of tracks okay. because he gets I haven't left, heard this before. Well, he gets left behind and like it's weird, frankly, that like an intergalactic alien race has that m- as much trouble as E.T. does in like sort of understanding what things are uh, oh man true. and so the the idea in, in the robot chicken short is that et is actually like the special alien that they left behind it was a field trip oh. and someone's getting fired yeah. 
that actually is super cursed. Kind of trash. That makes any yeah. sense at all. <laughs> you know Wait. what? My and mom like, forgot me at a car dealership once. <laughs> really? <laughs> you were ET. I was ET. It, it, like as soon as you started talking to any of the car dealership people, you were literally ET like, and Elliot. Kevin phone home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except you didn't solve any of their problems. Except, to make it worse. except they didn't. Nobody had cell phones back then, so I had to wait for my mom to get you home. You had to build your own phone out of an and easy then, speaker. Or whatever. And then my dad got home, and they both realized that they didn't take me home. <laughs> I so, sometimes you were just waving your little finger around. I had a similar experience the other day. So uh, Jimbo is an indoor cat. We don't let him outside. Like sometimes yeah. I'll like you know kind of take him on a sniffing tour. Yeah. But you know I don't. I found <laughs> been. Two dead cats on my lawn in the past three years. <laughs> Explain that, scientists. Ball Big lightning. Foot. <laughs> they got hit by ball lightning. <laughs> One of them. You know what? Never mind. Um, <laughs> anyways, I don't want the cat outside because I don't, don't want to find three cats. And uh, one night, I'm just doing what I normally do. And I was like, the cat hasn't annoyed you? Like, yeah. Like, I haven't. Like, like <laughs> Huh. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm looking around the house. It's like midnight and I like don't see him anywhere. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. So then I'm, I'm like, okay, here we go. I go get a flashlight. I go outside and I just, I realized this is, this is going to suck. Like, like trying to find him is going to. Uh, oh yeah. Cause it's like pure, your cat's like pitch black. It's yeah. like, yeah, he's pitch black. It's, he's uh, got this like really fluffy fur that just like fuzzes yeah. him into the background. Right. And I was like, well, there, that's it. Going to have to go get another cat now. <laughs> <laughs> and I like I point to the right and I just see two eyes like at the neighbor's house directly next to us. Wow. Underneath a car in the driveway. And Bingo. I was like, and I, I walked and I could see the fuzziness and I was like, all right, that's I him. mean, that could have been anything though. Like that could have been a possible oh, right. raccoon. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's not lying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't care what you are, you're coming back. How long me. would it take Chelsea to notice if you switched Jimbo out for just a, a literal raccoon? I guess you sorta of did that yeah. once, actually. She probably it would probably be immediately <laughs> well, Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hear me out, hear me out, right? You get you, you get a big enough raccoon Spray and you it. you die. <laughs> Spray for black, yeah, and you just keep it in like the periphery. How long, realistically? Like you put on, you put on a movie, notice? you dim all yeah. the lights, yeah, and so then yeah. you've got the black furry thing roaming around. It might as well be Jimbo. I think probably like Schrodinger under like an hour, yeah. yeah. <laughs> as long as it kind of stay in the distance, if it didn't move a whole lot. And then just think about how mad she would be once she realized the charade of you <laughs> spray painting a raccoon black because you had lost the cat. Think how mad the raccoon would be. Can you this, imagine trying to pick up a raccoon and paint it black? This could be like an episode of any cartoon ever. Uh, like uh, Family Guy, <laughs> Futurama or something. They lost the cat, so they just like paint one. Yeah. Paint the yeah. To be fair, Jimmy Neutron, out of all the cats, is probably the one that like you could disguise the most as a raccoon. Yeah. Just for like size and the tail. And like it, it's like I think a black raccoon would be pretty close to he's, Jimmy Neutron. He's a big boy. Yeah, yeah. Like a giant raccoon, yeah. I think, is like a fair, a 20, fair swap. 20, 30 pounds. Probably a small raccoon. He'd be like a small raccoon. Okay. Wow. Okay. How much is a raccoon worth? I don't know. You lived with one I for a little I bit. Pick it up. That was one of the I would say yeah. like that 20, was the rules you were allowed 30, to 40, touch 50. Yeah. I've seen some fat ones. Lose your, I've seen some big boys. If you pick up a raccoon, you'll lose the equivalent mass of the raccoon in blood. <laughs> <laughs> They require an offering. All right. Well, if you want more of this shit, we've got a Patreon. <laughs> this I don't know what's going up after this. Is like it's not the Q and A. We're gonna do a Q and A right now. There's okay. Q and A's. There's extra videos. Um, all sorts of good stuff. And the highest tier, you get a you get a Polaroid, a signed Polaroid every three months. All right. We'll see you guys next time.